So I've got my light in my left hand and you in my right hand. Um, but yeah, quick update. Basically, I went to record the Sonic performance and I realised that none of the batteries for the lights, none of the batteries for the camera, none of the batteries for the recorder are all charged. But tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have daylight as well to be able to record. I did a little practice off camera just to see, like, if I could create the sounds that I wanted to create. The bottles sort of, like, thumping and, like, squeaking as well and sort of, like, lids coming off things and also changing pitches of bottles by putting more or less water in. I'm going to record it tomorrow for, for real. So I'm setting the camera up on the tripod and then I turn it on to get like the right angle and it comes up with an error message. So uh, I can't use the DSLR which I've hired out. Turn on the camera. Oh, it works now. Fuck you. Okay, this is how it's all set up. Basically, we have the microphone on this little shelf that I've got, which is got some headphones plugged in so I can reference listen to make sure that it sounds all right. Then we've got two uh, small LED lights sort of flooding the area so that you can see it. A small Canon DSLR which is recording from below uh, so you can see what I'm doing as well. Then I'm recording by the sink that's in my room so that I can wash my hands and put water into the bottles to keep it lubricated and basically sort of like enhance the sound of the sort of the pops and the squeaks basically that I'm trying to get from the bottles. Then I also have my laptop beside me which is doing a metronome that's behind the microphone so that will hopefully pick up less on the recording. These are the bottles that I'll be using. My housemates have lent them because I don't actually drink anything so we've got old moot cider, pineapple and raspberry, good old bud and then so i didn't have any like screw on like wine bottles so ches has lent me this which has got like a like a screw cap on it which sort of like sounds like a wine bottle which i quite like and then essentially tap to be able to fill stuff with water so that we get different pitches from the bottles which i can then record on the mic Let's go. So here's a little video of me doing a test recording in the daylight. So uh, I literally just need to sync this metronome up with this recording. Uh, then I can start actually making sounds. So this is the bottle, uh, me doing sort of a little simple popping, like thunking sound for the more melodic part of the track. Then a higher pitch. So I did this by literally filling the bottle with some more water. Then a squeaking sound, I did this just simply by putting water in it and then just squeaking my thumb between it. It wasn't really that difficult. And then a shaker sound. This one was quite difficult to do because you have to be incredibly dexterous. Ooh. <laughs> then I was trying to do this uh, like rhythmic sort of sound with this pot here, trying to make the um, metal cap sound nice. I then tried to do some clasping sounds with my hands. These were more sort of percussive, um, but also like uh, syncopated. Again, this was just me trying to play about with sounds. I didn't even record on the fucking DSLR. So it's currently half past one in the morning and I've made a couple of changes to the setup to make sure that it all runs smoothly. Basically, I looked at the footage and also the recording as well. And uh, I decided that basically the metronome needs to be on my headphones instead of on the actual recording, because even though it was behind the microphone, I could still hear it. Secondly, the camera needs to be rolling. That would be a helpful thing. Thirdly, I've got to play better in time. The one that I did before, I was so far out of time. I might even update the metronome to have swung semi-quavers in it so that I can actually hear the swing that I'm wanting to have in the track rather than just sort of making it up. I'm now going to do a recording and see how it goes. Exactly what it is that is making you so unhappy. In the meantime, why not invite your colleagues to the wine bar with you after work? You'll be surprised what a difference it makes, I'm sure.
I followed your advice and invited my colleagues to have a drink with me. Unfortunately, none of them have turned up so far, and I have found myself drinking on my own. Not only do I now have to go to the wine bar at lunchtime and again after work each day, but I am drinking half a bottle of brandy before I go to bed each night as well. What shall I do? Yours in a stupor. I am sorry to hear that as well as being depressed, you are also now an alcoholic. Remedy this by eating sweets or snacks every time you feel the need for a drink. Why not take the car to work instead of the train? Then you won't be tempted to drink when you drive. Good luck! I have made many visits to my therapist over the last few weeks and have had to remortgage my home in order to meet the cost. You'll appreciate, I'm sure, that this is more than anyone can be expected to bear. Yours in agony.